Hi, I'm Senator Jim Inhofe. I'm the ranking member of the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works. And I want to give you a sneak peek into a major new Senate report on my committee's investigation into the scandal commonly known as ClimateGate. What emerges from our review of the emails and the documents which span a 13-year period from 1996 through November of 2009 is much more than, as EPA Administrator Letha Jackson put it, scientists who lack interpersonal skills. Rather, the emails show the world's leading climate scientists discussing, among other things, obstructing the release of damaging data and information, manipulating data to reach preconceived conceived conclusions, subverting the peer review process by threatening journal editors who publish work questioning the climate science consensus and assuming activist roles to influence the political process. The correspondence also reveals a fractured consensus on the state of climate change. Contrary to the repeated assertions that the science is settled, the emails show the world's leading climate scientists arguing over critical issues, questioning key methods and statistical techniques, and doubting whether there is consensus on the causes and the extent of climate change. If you're interested in reading key passages from the report to be released this morning, visit my website. It's www.inhoff.senate.gov. As even some of the most ardent global warming alarmists now admit, the past few months have been bad news for their cause. I suspect ClimateGate is only the beginning. We knew they were cooking the science all the time to support the flawed United Nations IPCC agenda. As I said on the Senate floor way back in 2005, that in the report itself, this is a recipe for delegitimizing the entire endeavor in terms of providing credible information that is useful to policymakers. That's a quote. And five years later, the truth is coming out. And back in 2003, I said, blaming global warming on CO2 and other man-made gases is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. I was right. 